My favorite part about the Maybach is the different fragrances. I just love it when these expensive cars give us different types of cologne for us men. Fragrance. <laughs> Drug dealers, this is the Maybach. So this is the most expensive vehicle we've had right here in our studio. This thing is a whopping almost $300,000 Canadian. This is the S580 Maybach, but there's also an S680 Maybach that has a V12. But in Canada, we only get this boy that has the V8 inside. But who cares about that? There are so many toys on this thing that blows away the regular Mercedes-Benz S580 that we already reviewed. So I'm gonna spend a lot of this video on all the coolest stuff about this Maybach. So here are the top 10 things on why I'd buy this Maybach. The most compelling reason to buy this Maybach is for these seats. Check this out, seat positioning, and give me the sleepy sleep. Give me the first class. Man, there's so much going on, I have no idea. There's just a lot of movement. So this thing comes up, and then that thing comes up for my heel. <clears throat> Take me to my mansion, driver. So we're given hands. Instead of pulling buttons, we just use our hand to close the door. Bye-bye. Peace. So if the driver picks up food or you want to work on your laptop, where do you work? Do you have a tray table? Of course you do. It's a Maybach. Check this out. Folds up, rotate, and then it opens up. It's a bit hard, but voila. So I could use the handle to get out, but that's disgusting. Oh. <laughs> Weak. This is much better. Thank you. Check this out. How cool is this? It shoots lasers based on the temperature I pick. So if I go hotter, it goes red. If I go colder, it goes blue. And then if I alternate, I get this cool... <laughs> it's like playing video games. Next up are these fancy flutes. Here you go, darling. Put it right here on this little clip. It holds right there. And I take one for myself. And we want some privacy. So let's load up. Cheers. So I'm done with my drinks and I want to clean this all up. Instead of pushing it forward, I simply have this button and it closes. I had to turn the volume down. This thing has 30 speakers. This Burmeister sound system is crazy. Everywhere I look, there are speakers. I couldn't even turn it past a quarter. What? What? Yeah. And yes, this 30 speaker Burmeister sound system does have active noise cancellation, but it also has something called 4D sound, which basically has speakers in the seats that not just over here to give you sound, but in the seats to give you bass and it's very bassy, and it, no matter how loud I turn this thing up, no matter how loud, I haven't gone past halfway, it is crystal clear. This is by far the best sound system, hands down, in any vehicle that I've ever driven. This has a $13,000 option for all elements leather, which includes this headliner. It's fully stitched leather in different portions. It's so nice. It's softer than Napa leather. Fancy. So my favorite thing about this Benz, I mean my Bach, is something called energizing comfort. And what that does is it changes the LEDs all over the car. This ambient lighting is crazy. The craziest ambient lighting. Oh, thank you for passing my seatbelt. Yes, this has an assisted rear seatbelt as well. It has an airbag in it, but it doesn't matter. Energizing comfort is king because it massages me in different ways based on the theme I pick. So anything you pick changes the color, changes the massage you get, changes the heated seats, changes everything about everything just by picking freshness, warmth, vitality, joy, well-being, forest, glade. Marry me.
So I'm going to start the Maybach drive in Maybach diamond mode. And that basically just illuminates all, did I say illuminates? I mean eliminates all the bumps in the road. It's buttery smooth and you could just fall asleep. It's so smooth. And it's so quiet. And when you start this thing up, you can't even hear that it's on. It's like ultra quiet. And then there's something called curve mode. And the interesting part about this is that you can get two different options. You can get the back wheels to turn four and a half degrees or a 10 degree turn, which means the back wheels turn to make the 360s really easy. So there's no three point turning in this big boat. It's just simply a turn. It's so good. It's so easy to turn this thing. But that also works with curve mode and tries to flatten the car when you go around corners so that nothing in the car flies left and right. But look at this turning. This is crazy. This steering, like this is wild. I feel like that back wheel doesn't move. It just stays planted and then the whole car just rotates. That's amazing. That part is cool. But it's just interesting how they have two types of degrees. A four and a half and a 10. That costs $1,300. Why not just throw it in? All right, so now I'm in curve mode here and there's a bunch of curves. So smooth. Oh man, this thing does handle pretty well. It's a little bit floaty, but whew, this thing is what? If I told you how fast I'm driving right there, that I do not feel at all. Wow. Wow. The other interesting thing about this thing is that I would expect it to weigh like 6,000 pounds, but it weighs 4,900 pounds which isn't even heavy. When you think about these type of vehicles, they're always extra heavy. So when you're driving along, you don't want to take your eyes off the road. This has a massive heads up display where it tells you the speed you're driving, the speed limit, it tells you to keep you in your lane. It also has the coolest augmented reality that has blue little arrows that point to go the direction you want to go when you put an address in the navigation system. So a really good job. I like how it says straight and then when you're approaching it, it kind of becomes bigger and it says left, left, left. Similar to what the Escalade does, but this is a cleaner system and it's more accurate, I find. And it's more like augmented. It's just bigger, it's just more in your face than what the Escalade provides. So this car starts at $240,000 Canadian and this thing is equipped just under $300,000 at about $295,000. And it's kind of weird because it has all these Maybach type pieces like Maybach everywhere. Even the display has a million Maybachs and there's Maybach here, Maybach there. But it's so similar to the S-Class that was like half the price. And that Benz had the exact same interior color. So I feel like I'm driving the Benz. And this display is exactly the same. Everything's the same. Even this badge says Mercedes right on the steering wheel. So what's up with that, Mercedes? Even the glass says Mercedes. Like, says Mercedes, not just the emblem. It physically says Mercedes. And from an engine perspective, this doesn't make any more power than the regular S580. It makes 496 horsepower and 518 pound-feet of torque, which is plenty to propel this thing. It does have some electrification involved, a 48 volt battery, but it's exactly the same as the Benz. So you're really paying for the outside, the fact this looks like a Maybach. I'm sure there are dudes out there that'll take the regular S-Class and put this pinstriping on it, throw some Maybach badges, and that is it. And they're rocking a Maybach. That's all it takes, really. So you can save a lot of moolah. Now the hood is definitely different. You have this chrome strip that lines right in the center. Nothing in the back, but when I look at this rear view mirror, I do see this cool little pinstripe Maybach piece back there. And it looks so luxurious. I'm really just trying to scrape for really 150,000 bucks here. I know, it's hard. From a driver's perspective, I the augmented reality is super cool. The gesture control, super cool. The 3D dash, super cool. 150,000 bucks. One thing I can't deny though is the eyeballs. This thing gets stared at everywhere I go. I've had it for like six days now. And no matter where I drive, everybody's staring at this thing. It gets so much attention, which is, Worth a hundred grand, I guess, from a marketing perspective. Everybody sees you, everybody knows you. That's worth a hundred grand, I'd say. Where's my checkbook? 